they tell the story of a monk in the time of King Ashoka, who was from out of the countryside. He came into the capital city and went for alms. And one day he wandered into a place he hadn't been before. It turned out that this was the area of the executioner. And the executioner had received permission from King Ashoka that anyone who wandered into his territory was fair game. So the executioner catches the monk, says, okay, I'm going to execute you. And the monk starts crying. And the executioner says, what kind of monk are you crying? And the monk says, well, I haven't gotten very far in my practice. Can you give me seven days? So the executioner gave him seven days. So he stayed in his prison cell and meditated and developed psychic powers. He was able to go through the prison bars and levitate up, get out of the territory. It's a story that tells of what can be done when you're forced to look at what limited resources you might have at some time. Because sometimes it's only when you realize you've got limitations that you look inside and see, well, there are other potentials that you haven't made use of. So here we're still limited by the, by the pandemic. A lot of things we can't do. But we can look inside and see what kind of potentials we have there, the potentials of the breath. The Buddha says you settle down with the breath and then you spread a sense of ease and refreshment throughout the body. Well, where are you going to find the ease and refreshment if you don't work with the breath, play with the breath? Allow the mind to settle down and indulge in concentration in the breath, fully absorbed in the breath. And then you find that there's a potential here that you hadn't made yourself. The same with discernment. Little things right here in the present moment. But if you really look at them carefully, you can gain the discernment that puts an end to suffering. After all, what was the Buddha looking at? He looked at the process of becoming, but he didn't look at all the different levels of becoming. He looked at becoming as was happening in his mind, little things in the mind. And he came to understand them, and he, in understanding them, he was able to get past them. So there's a potential for a lot of good things right here. So instead of straining against the things that hold you in outside, you might look inside and see what vistas open up as you really focus on what you've got right here, right now. As the Buddha said, the possibility for awakening is right here. And you look in here, you don't see it. But it's there. So look carefully. Focus inside, and you'll find that there are a lot of potentials that you missed otherwise. And sometimes being hemmed in outside is a good thing. It forces you to look inside. The mind settles down and gets down to business. <laughs>